I wanted to show pop in and show you guys a quick video of my takedown process. Um, so I twisted it last. I put I added more product last night and twisted it up. Um, you know, just to um, add more sheen and shine. Um, so what I do is it just depends. Sometimes I start from the bottom and work my way to the top. This is to avoid frizz. Um, or some people even start up at the top and just do that. But that's sometimes my hair gets tangled. Um, so I don't do that all the time. Um, the more you manipulate the hair, the more that it gets frizzy, the more it tangles up, you know, and that kind of thing. So you lose the curl. So for the best twist out, um, it's just best to kind of start at the beginning if, if you're new to this. But some people don't mind the, um, the frizziness. You know, it just really depends on you. Um, but this photovirginic product is wonderful. It really is moisturized. Um, I really love the way it makes my hair feel. Um, I've been searching and searching for a product that would help me with my natural process. Um, I've, I've just been dealing with dryness and just the product just not lasting. So this has been the best product so far. It seems like every product that I've used or every line that I've used in the past, it just doesn't have enough. You know, it has a great washing process, a great deep conditioning process, or you may even have, you know, a clay that you can have. Um, but it just wasn't enough. It seemed like the ending, the styling process is what kind of like had, had me all messed up. It would, you know, not be enough for me. Um, work for other people that I knew, but other people don't, everyone doesn't have the same type of hair. So what happens is you find yourself, you know, trying to use a product and it's not working for you. And that's because everybody's hair is different. Everybody's hair, um, don't retain oils or don't retain moisture or it's thin. Um, and so they can't use the thin, people with thin hair can't use a heavy product, um, because it's too much for their hair. So the people with thick hair, they'll get a heavier product and it works for them, you know. So everybody's hair is different. So you can't say that, you know, everything doesn't work or it just doesn't work for you. So you have to find what's best for you. This natural hair journey is basically all about trial and error. You figure out what works, what doesn't, you know, we become, sometimes you become a product junkie. And that's what I do. I, I um like to try different stuff so that I'm not um, a slave to one product. But, you know, if I find something that's my staple and it works for me, then it's all gravy. Um, it looks like Photogenic pretty much works with a lot of stuff. Um, just like um, Emery said, if you are seeing flakes um, in your hair um, or a product residue, it's probably because whatever you're using is not agreeing with the Photogenic product. So that's what you really have to be careful with. You want to make sure that you wash your hair, you deep condition it. Um, and now I'm seeing you probably don't even need a leave-in. Photogenic works as a leave-in. So, you know, that right there is eliminating additional product that might not agree with the photogenic. Um, usually what I do is, you know, if I buy a product, I usually stay with the product line by getting the shampoo, the deep conditioner, the leave-in, you know, the styler, all in the same line so that it all coincides and work together. Products are, are usually made to work with each other. Um, but like I said, I've been finding that I needed something additional uh, for my hair. You know, everyone's hair is different. So I hope this um, helps people um, in the group. So what I do is I take, you know, all these down um, and then I fluff it. Um, I like to have it looking big. You can just take it down and have it in its regular crinkled state if, you know, you don't want to pull them apart. Um, it's just up to you what look you're trying to achieve. Um, sometimes I, I just pull it apart. I just take them down and wear them like that. 
um, if I'm not going anywhere. And what I'm meaning by that is you just take it down and you see how it's just crinkly. It's not fluffed. So it just depends on you on where you're going that day. Um, my wash day is tomorrow. I, I did post that my wash day was today, but I forgot I washed it on Thursday. It was looking so good. And that's another thing. You find yourself, oh my God, it looks so good. You gotta wanna wash it. I have a weekly regimen. So everybody is different. Some people wash every two weeks, some, you know, depending on your time. Some people wash once a month. Um, I need moisture. Water equals moisture. Um, you know, additional hair product is moisture for me. So everyone is different. So you do what works best for you. Um, so that's what I found. It's time for me to cut my ends. I, I really want a really good cut. I haven't found a hair stylist in my area. So that's a whole nother story that I, I got to figure that out. Um, I'm thinking of going to the Supercuts out here. Supercuts is a really good uh, place to go. A lot of people don't know. They think it's basically for Caucasians, but they have trained to learn uh, the best haircut in the most minimal time. Um, I have a cousin that is the district manager for Supercuts, and he basically, you know, has went in and trained a lot of the... Um, a stylist on how to you know do African American hair, um, so that's a little known secret. You can, and plus you're in and out of that salon. It's by appointment only, so just a little tip if you're looking for someone to do your hair. Um, so as as I said, I like to fluff it just a little bit or a lot, depending on what my day is feeling like. I also have this fluffer by Conair and basically what it does is it'll lift your hair got it from Walmart I believe or it may have been Sally's I don't remember uh, it may have been Amazon <laughs> I'll put a link if I can find it uh, with the video and so or you can use a pick you know it's up to you um, and again I'm, I'm just Going through, pulling out. I like big hair. I don't too much like it to be like all flat to my head. So, and I haven't tried the the real wash and go like Emery has, where it's just like you know straight up your hair looks wet. So I'm going to try that the next time I um, do my hair, and that's basically meaning that you're having to put more product in your hair. And I, you know, wasn't aware that you, you the more product the better depending on how much definition you want in it so then I shake it just to get it poofy you know you could do you can do all of this if you want to just to get it all poofy and how I want it go back in and untwist the ones that I missed now again I wash my hair every week everybody's different you can this could probably, my longest that I've lasted uh, with this type of hairdo was, I believe, 14 days. And then I just got, you know, I got itchy and I, I wanted to wash it or whatever. Um, and that was because I was out of town, didn't have any product. So, and I do mostly, I mostly retwist my hair every night because I like it to have its definition. If I don't retwist it, I'll do many pineapples, which means you just put your hair use elastic and put your hair in a loose pineapple maybe once or twice depending on how big the elastic is and sleep with, I do four if your hair is shorter you may do six you know depending on your hair and I sleep with a, sla a satin slap cap um, or, or a satin scarf or bonnet and when you get up you take the elastics out shake it Pull it down or, or move it around, however you want to move it. And it's back. And I guarantee you, your curls, you won't lose your curls. That's what, that's how you can sleep with a wash and go as well. Um, when you wake up, it'll be all smashed to your hair, but you can usually just pull it apart um, after taking it out of the pineapple. Or if you have longer hair, you can pull your hair all up 
Um, they call that a pineapple as well. And put your scarf around. Um, but, you know, make sure your hair is all the way up and all the way up to the top like a high ponytail and put the scarf on. So that's ways that you can protect your curls. Um, and that's it. So basically, I'm ready to go for the day. Um, and see how bouncy it is. I still have my bounce. Um, it's very light to the touch. It doesn't feel heavy um, or anything like that. I'm going to buy me a tripod because I think I'm starting to get a hang of this video. In. <laughs> so, just wanted to pop in real quick and show you what I do with my twist out and how I look the next day. Um, just depends, you know, this is a little bit frizzy because we're at the end of, again, we're at the end of my week. I sweat in my head a lot. So, because uh, of these hot flashes. So, um, and I work out maybe six days a week. So, there's that. When I work out, I usually keep my hair twisted because it works better for me. Um, some people don't. So it just depends on what works for you. Um, and then if I'm going anywhere, I will, um, you know, take the twist out. My hair dries really quick, so some people can't do that. Um, it just depends on your hair and how your hair works. So I hope this helps someone. Have a fabulous day anyway. And um, I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.